The School of Communication at the University of Southern Mississippi, we offer five different graduate programs to sort of meet the needs of all of our students. We offer three programs that are master's degree, so an MA in Communication Studies, an MA, MS in Mass Communication, and then we have sort of our flagship public relations program, which is unique to the entire state of Mississippi. And then in terms of our doctoral programs, we also offer the only doctoral programs in the entire state of Mississippi, which is a Communication Studies PhD and a Mass Communication PhD. Well, there are a lot of great uh, points about the Southern Miss Comm Department and School of Communication here uh, that are big selling points. Graduate school is a hard process, and you really need those connections. You need to be, you need to feel like you're you're able to walk into somebody's office or email them or rely on them if you have an issue. Like you can't feel like you're you're distant. Um, so that is why I specifically chose USM. So I really appreciate the ways in which our professors go outside of the offices and into the lives and experiences of students to truly help us um, make the best of this experience while we're here. Because we have such a large group of graduate faculty members, 20 of us, students have the opportunity to study a number of expertise offered by our faculty, including cultural criticism, rhetoric, race and media, media history, health communication, political communication, public relations, crisis communication, the list goes on and on. If students are interested in studying something specific, more than likely we have a faculty member that can absolutely mentor that student. So when students come to the School of Communication, they really have many options for finding a faculty member who fits with both their research interests and also their methodological interests as well. I really look forward to working with grad students whenever I get the opportunity. Just the way that young scholars can think and work is really exciting to be a part of. So I'm always happy when I hear a grad student wants to work on a project. I particularly love my program here at Southern Mississippi because of the particular interest um, in black studies that I'm able to engage in. And I know being able to navigate in predominant academia spaces, black scholars are not always afforded the opportunity to talk about and engage in research with scholars and professors that take an interest in the research they're in. What's really unique about Southern Miss is that we're actually a research one level doctoral institution. So when doctoral students come to Southern Miss, to study for their PhD in either communication studies or mass communication, they're getting a world-class education. Part of that is I can point to the success rate of our students getting tenure-track jobs at really great institutions. In the last three years, just to sort of cite some of our success, many of our doctoral students have gained tenure-track positions at some fantastic institutions, including Southern Methodist University, The Citadel, Southern Utah University, um, University of West Florida, and Columbus State, just to name a few. And so we're very proud of the record of our graduate students. They often, more often than not, walk away with publications under their belt because we really encourage that. We encourage students to work with our graduate faculty to be mentored into how to develop a publication, how to take a class paper and turn it into a conference paper, and then turn it into a submission to a journal, which hopefully will be published. So we really pride ourselves on providing the necessary research experience for our graduates. So there have been several opportunities in which I've been able to engage in more in-depth studies with faculty members to evolve myself as a researcher. But on the other token, being in the program has given me access to conferences where I've been able to submit papers to, like the SSCA, the NCA, the AEJMC conferences, all of these big name conferences in our department and in our division, you know, communication studies, I've been able to have access to them and I've been able to develop papers within my coursework, within my classes to help me get into those conferences. So that's one of the things that I really want to echo in relation to our program is that each class is designed to help you prepare um, a conference paper so that you can take it elsewhere and evolve as a scholar and get that experience and that network opportunity. So for many of our doctoral students who are coming in, we really strongly want them to be able to teach because especially if they are getting the PhD, more often than not they are bound for an academic career at a research university or a teaching institution. And so one of the ways that we want to equip our students is that we do offer teaching assistantships for students so that they can get the vital teaching experience they need. You're actually teaching classes as the, the primary instructor. 
uh, as a graduate student. So having that freedom um, to lead a class and, and obviously you're given you know, a syllabus and training, um, but to have that experience under my belt, I know moving forward that I can confidently teach a class at any university because I've done so here. We offer plenty of opportunities for master's students with our student prints, our undergraduate student newspaper. We have WUSM, which is a radio station at Southern Miss run through the School of Communication with a daily production element to it. We also have the speech and debate team, which is nationally recognized here at Southern Miss. And so there are several assistantships that students will gain. Um, I also work within the speaking center, which is um, kind of special to USM. Not a lot of places have a speaking center and it uses a peer to peer design. This grad program has like a really fantastic sense of community and makes for really great cohorts and lifelong friends and you know research teams that work really well together. Things that you might not talk about in like a 598 learning how to teach communication class, things that might not come up there, might not come up in the graduate level classroom, you can talk to with your peers and it's like a very low stakes environment that like allows grad students to not only bond with each other but um, kind of overcome those stresses and especially like a time like now when there's so much just you know so many unknown variables going around like in the classroom and online teaching I think having an organization like CGA um, is extremely beneficial for grad students coming in. The CGA is the Communication Graduate Association. Basically, it's an association for all of the School of Communication, all the graduate students. So it's very uh, encompassing and the whole goal for that program is basically to be a place where we can help you with professionalism, we can help you with advocacy, we um, are really big on involvement and basically just making sure we're communicating and that we're all here for each other. One of the jokes we always hear is that uh, communication people don't know how to communicate, but I would say that that's not true on the, on the whole. Uh, we're very good at getting in contact with each other, um, asking each other questions. Uh, literally, I probably get 20 you know, text messages a day about different things within the program. So, and that's PR, mass comm, and comm studies. So very interconnected. Bi-weekly, we also have a Friday afternoon graduate colloquium where we come together and we spend about an hour in a session where we talk about new trends in research, new trends in teaching, professional development. Sometimes graduate students will present conference papers that they are getting ready to present at a conference to get peer-to-peer -peer feedback. We'll also hear from faculty members who are sort of discussing and going through recent research projects that they've been working on. And so it gives us an opportunity to not only build community with our students, but also to use that as a teaching opportunity for them to continue to be socialized into the academy and to the discipline. No student is too, you know, too accomplished or not accomplished enough to, to be here and, and to make a big splash at Southern Mass. To apply for our program, students will need to go through the University of Southern Mississippi Graduate School website and find out more on their admissions page. Students will actually apply through the Graduate School website, not through our website, but through the Graduate School website. And of course, along the way, if students have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me at katherine.anthony at usm.edu. And for applications, students will need updated transcripts from all institutions, an updated CV, a writing sample that displays exactly that, how well the student can write, and then finally a statement of purpose. What is the purpose for applying to Southern Miss? Why do you think you'd be a good fit with our program? Who would you like to work with? And what are your ultimate professional career goals?